Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to talk about the perfect join up and what body signals always work no matter if your horse is trained English or Western. And this is Jackie, she's a running quarter and I think she is 10 years old, something around that. And she really knows how to do the perfect join up so that's why I chose her to do that um, with. And I'm gonna talk about my body signals and just general signals that you can always do if you're lunging a horse it doesn't matter if you lunging it on a lunge line or if you are free lunging it like i do so this is the first thing if you want to make a horse go forward you need to kind of bring the pressure from the hind to the front so we are on the left hand and i'm trying to push her forward with my right hand so it wouldn't make sense for me to use the reins or like my left hand and put the reins in my left hand and here you already saw the perfect join up i was just standing still and she knows that this means to come back to me and to slow down i'm a person that um walks with the horse when i'm lunging the horse normally in the english world um mostly you just stand in the middle um yes so whenever i'm technically not giving her my attention and kind of just also signaling with my body energy that i want a slow movement or a halt then um, she will know the difference because now i'm just like walking but i'm also not working walking um like with a lot of energy just like really relaxed so a horse always functions with um body like with pressure and now um you see she's coming to me because i kind of took my attention and my eyes of her so she thought um that meant to come to me so what i was going to say is that a horse works with pressure so when you put pressure on a nose they will move back or on the chest they will move back and if you just um show them to go in the direction they will go in the direction so right now i was showing her to just go outside and that i always do with my hands you can just use both hands and make yourself really tall because then they know um, they have to move away from you. So that's another thing that always works. So here you could see my hand. I was just like standing still and that's kind of a new thing that I implemented just by kind of showing her my left hand when she's on the left side and my right hand when I'm on the right side. She kind of like knows then how to stop. So this is another horse. This is Indy. She's a thoroughbred. She is uh, seven or eight years old, I believe. So here you could see I was kind of giving the pressure more with my left hand. And she didn't respond it. Like she always likes to go on the other side. But I wanted to, her to go on the right um, hand, on the right lead. And because she was kind of confused, I like to make them move a little bit forward so that they understand they have to go forward. And it's also harder to like switch directions if they're going forward. So I just wanted to make her understand that I don't want her to switch right now, but just going forward. So here again, I'm just like going with her, moving with her and kind of the pressure is coming from the back. So when you would have a lunge line, you would have the whip in your left hand. So now I didn't wanted her to um, walk and also she was like attempting to come inside. So I just pushed her away with my arms, like metaphorically pushed her away. And here again, she wanted to switch, but I didn't want her to switch. So I'm making her move forward again. That's also a good thing that you can always do when you're riding. Um, to just make them move forward if they don't really respond or kind of being obnoxious. So here you could see I was standing still, which means hold and kind of using the hand as well because I want to implement the hand as a transition from a higher like gait into a lower one. 
so I like that that she always goes forward downward she does it really good and really well like naturally um, which I appreciate and love and also when I write her she's really easy and soft in the mouth and really bends her back which is super helpful for her of course so that's the fast and quick response that I wanted I'm just like kind of raising my arm a little bit and she canters see um great so that's awesome and she's still being relaxed now the hand again yep so that's great um i'm switching her again and i always put the hand up just kind of like pressuring her to the other side first and then i might kind of di direct her with my like um index finger or I'm not just using the finger but you know what I mean like how you would point to to thing where you want to go so she picked up the canner correctly again and I'm always standing like on her chest sort of like I will not be with my body on her butt or on her um, head so here I was just standing still because I wanted her to hold and I was also looking away from her to kind of make her understand it. I just want her to stand still because looking away always works. And if you want the horse to come towards you, you can also sometimes um, make yourself smaller. But that's not really for the lunging. But let's say you are getting a horse from a pasture or something um, because they might come to you more easily. So now I'm gonna show how I'm riding her a little bit. Um, so we still have to work on that with like moving forward. Um, I don't really like that she goes away when I'm like going on the horse. And I just want to show you like a little bit of the of the riding because that will be a separate part. see that she really wants to stay down there and go forward downward sometimes she comes up um, so it's not very consistent like not all the time today I wrote her as well because this was filmed yesterday and she already improved so much like it's crazy she learned so fast it's unbelievable um, but I don't try to like be too assertive or too hard on her so I just will always like show her again with my leg that she needs to go downward and that is much more comfortable down there and easier for her to work with me um, so yeah but that's gonna be it so I just wanted to sum it up a little bit so you have the hand that is kind of like pressuring from behind so that always means forward you are always standing on the hip not, not on the hip on the chest of the horse um, when you walk with them it kind of helps you and them to guide and when you stand still they will come towards you or hold and if you turn away that's how you start with the join up and then you can just take the attention and the energy away from the horse and they will also do the join up and remember if you're lunging um, you always want to have a pizza slice so the lunge line is the first line and then your whip would be the second line and the lunge line is connected to the front part of the horse and then the whip would um, point towards the end of the horse and you stand on the shoulder. Thanks for watching this video, I hope you liked it, let me know if you want more of these, if you have any questions and make sure to watch my other videos, I'm gonna upload another life lesson where I was riding in the in the arena so make sure to check out this video and bye bye